Hello and welcome to the video. My name is Doug and today we're having a little look at an app called Littlebird, which has not released it out of beta yet. It's currently in beta, so you can join the beta. I saw this on an ad online and I was a bit curious because it was supposedly this AI tool that sits in the background and keeps track of what you're up to. And at first I was like, mm, okay, that sounds pretty basic. I use a tool called Rise, which keeps track of my time, my bit of hours to clients, which is what I do. And I thought it was much of the same. I'm actually really quite surprised in what this is doing practically. So if you're familiar with your basic time tracking apps, they might run in the background and they'll say, well, you had Safari open on these sites and we're going to categorize that as coding productivity, documentation, etc. Imagine instead of just that surface layer, your app was actually looking at what you're doing on the screen. So let's say you're opening up a website, you're reading an article. What is the context of the article? And it will then try to assume the rationale behind that. So we've got a couple of examples here, like it says, Personalized AI that reads your mind, not your prompts. It works behind the scenes to understand the information that matters to your workflow. It will break down app silos. You can have a look at this in your own time. But what was really the magic moment for me is I set up this little routine. I just followed the basic steps. I just clicked plus. I just used the basic template and then just plugged in the EG. And what it had done, not only was it tracking the apps and websites that I was navigating to, it was also extracting the context that was on the page. So without any prompting, any instruction, what it's done is it's taken like the name of one of my campaigns. It's extracted the impressions, the cost of the campaign and some of the others. And it's given me context all based on what was on the screen, which is very impressive. Now you could no doubt shape this with some of your prompts but I just thought that that started off quite quite impressive and then I went over to to do's and it had started extracting some tasks automatically without any prompting now at the moment I can't integrate this with any of my tools but it's just it just came up out out of out of just me navigating and it's brought in the context of the pages that I was accessing so these are things that I was unconsciously working through his task that maybe I'd forgotten about. And because it knew what was going on on screen and the context, it was able to then populate those tasks. And it then summarized all of my day's activities. And I can't show you this due to client information. It then populated that in the journal section. So I try and keep like I do voice notes. I take end of day notes of what I've been up to. But what this had done is it had taken all of that information we have just seen and stuck it into this journal of how I spent my day, what I've been looking at. And it also gave me little reference links at the bottom. So there was a section of like source links. So rather than going, oh, I swear I worked on this thing yesterday, but I can't find it. I just clicked on the button and it took me straight to the page that I was opening. It's very rare that I get excited, but I had to share this because it is in beta and there's definitely some UI bugs and things. But as a first stab, I do feel like it's living up to its initial promise at the moment. Now, I need to spend a bit of time looking at the routines and see more practically how we can apply this. But again, like summary of goals, I didn't populate any of this. Data infrastructure and tooling. Yeah, a portion of my time has been dedicated to technical setup and refinement of my analytics infrastructure. You've been reviewing event tracking. This is all perfectly true. And it's just a wonderful reminder that's just running in the background without any input and allows me to have an almost autonomous view of my day. So more to come on this, but as a first stab, very impressed, had to share it. If you are using it, what do you think? Let's have a look just to get some context. What's the pricing look like? Okay, so... It is free because in beta, I do wonder this feels like it might be a sort of 40 bucks a month application, but that will be interesting to see. But yeah, give it a go. See what you think.